welcome back and I thought I would just start out this video by answering a few of the common questions that I get. If you don't want to hear about vinyl and about acrylic blanks just skip right on over to about the four and a half minute mark and that will get right into the tutorial on how to do this keychain. Thanks so much for watching. Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, sorry I've been away I had a hard drive failure and um, lost a lot of videos. It takes time to come back from that. I get a lot, there has been a lot of questions about some old videos that I made and I thought I would re-update them. Re-update? <laughs> that doesn't make sense. I thought I would update them um, because they were done so long ago I, for the life of me, can't remember. So these are two acrylic blanks. Um, I ordered hundreds of these at one point, um, you know, when the world shut down. And the company that I got these from here in Canada no longer cuts them. They only cut MDF board. So I'm not going to recommend them. Um, there's lots of places in the U.S. that cut them. There's tons of companies. Um, you can get them off Amazon. I'm still trying to find a reasonable supplier here in Canada. Um, but most of the ones I found want triple from just ordering from the U.S. So, um, and see how they do. But these are these are old acrylics that I've had laying around for quite some time. I also thought in this video I'd chat a little bit about vinyl. I, you know, there's a lot of questions about what vinyl to use. Um, any permanent vinyl works for these. I mean, you're covering them in resin anyway. When I make large projects, I keep all the scraps of vinyl even little tiny bits. Um, and this is, you know, when you're doing these acrylic keychains, so many times you need this much white. You know, tiny little bits, you know, you're cutting eyeballs or something and you just need these tiny, tiny little pieces. So instead of um, wrecking a big piece, you know, I really just save these in this file. And I, you know, I always go through my file when I'm cutting something just to see, you know, especially the black. I don't think I've ever had to cut like a chunk off of a full sheet of black in ages. Cause you know, I see these videos where people have a full size piece of vinyl and they've cut something in the middle and they rip, you know, they rip off the vinyl and there's all these spots where they could have cut around and saved that vinyl. And maybe it's because I live in Canada and things are super expensive here. Um, but, you know, I always cut around as much as I can to preserve as much vinyl. Um, that's why a lot of these are weird shapes. A lot of them come out, you know, corners from cutting off from round shapes. But I do save, you know, cutting off from round shapes. I do save as much as I can and I do end up using it, you know, the good majority of it. Um, it's a good habit to have to save a few dollars, you know, crafting's really, really expensive. Um, as for the type of vinyl, any permanent vinyl works. You know, uh, I sometimes I just use Cricut vinyl because I can go down to Michael's and get it and it's easy. It's not my favorite vinyl. Um, my favorite vinyl is from Tech Wrap. I don't know why it, the feeling of it makes me happy. Um, it's just, again, I live in Canada and, you know, our shipping rates here are astronomical. So sometimes unless I'm placing a really big order, it's not really worth it for me. You know, if I just need some white or just need some black, sometimes I do just go down to, to Michael's and buy it. But um, this is my favorite unsponsored. You know, I discovered this a long time ago. I haven't placed an order in quite some time, but, you know, these, I don't know, there's just something about it. That I really really like. It cuts really nicely. Um, it weeds really nicely and there's something about it. it. I don't know it's kind of like soft. Yeah I don't know. I just like this vinyl so that's my story on vinyl. So for this one we've just got a two inch acrylic blank. My pre-cut vinyl. For this one, one of the designs is going on the back. So when you're cutting your vinyl, please be sure to mirror it and UV resin. And that's it. And a lamp. I do get quite a few questions about the lamps. Um, get the best one you can afford, the highest wattage. It will cure faster. Um, but you know, in the end, okay, it takes you a few extra minutes 
just you know any Amazon lamp really it just might take longer or shorter to cure the resin so let's get started all right so for this one we're actually going to start with these black dots first I've removed the paper backing from my blank and I just have a small piece of transfer tape transfer tape can make or break you um, don't be afraid to try different transfer tapes I can tell you I have had some from very well-known brands that made me want to quit everything and just never craft again you know when nothing comes off your transfer tape it's the worst it just and you should be able to peel it and just have everything stick to the transfer tape that's supposed to stick to the transfer tape I tell you it's not always the case Remember when I first started crafting, transfer tape was white. You couldn't really see what you were doing and everything was just kind of a, a guess. Where do I want these? Right about there. I get these off of Amazon as well. I like the soft edge. You know, this type of keychain is really the quickest. Oh, there's my hair. The quickest type. The camera's situated a little bit far from me, so it can be hard to get a good idea of exactly where it's supposed to go. I think I did pretty good there. I'm sorry, I'm going to pull it a little bit closer to me so I can see what I'm doing. Alright. I did pretty good. I might have to do a bit of trimming. I did the best I could. I might just take, I might just leave it. We'll see how it looks on the other side. I'm not over the edge, I'm just a little bit further here, but that's okay. So I have the little hole here to dig out. I use an X-Acto knife. I don't like to pre-cut the holes, I actually hate it. It just It's more lining up, it never works well for me. And I always just punch through and then use my X-Acto knife to cut. It's that easy and then you get your perfect hole. Okay, so I trimmed it a little bit. I have these little knives that are really good. These are from Amazon as well. They're like, they're fairly cheap. I could have left it, but that's okay. So I'm just gonna use my resin and I'm just gonna completely cover this side to protect the vinyl. I guess I'm out of practice placing my, my vinyl. It's been a while. I get these little silicone mixers from Amazon as well. I really like them. I don't know, I find it the only um, popsicle sticks we get at the dollar store here are really, really flimsy and they really are terrible for this. So I grabbed these and I've been really, really happy with them. The UV resin shrinks, so make sure, you know, you, there's a happy medium between too much and not enough, because it will pull away from the edges if you don't have enough on there. So 
I do get my head right down to this level on my table and I make sure that all the edges are done really nicely so that I don't see Got a really nice dome on that one. And you hit it with your torch. Make sure all your bubbles are gone. And my old trusty light here. And just keep hitting it until you're happy with how hard it's gotten. All right, so it's been about three minutes under the lamp. It's nice and cured. I guess I can take this glove off for a few minutes. I'll try to reuse them when there's no resin on them. I have developed chemical allergies before in my life. All right, so, oh, well, I'm gonna need this. And let's do the reveal from this side. Get this off. And that was a fail. All right, come on. One side always comes off so well and the other one is always a pain. There we go. Now comes the quick and easy part. I say that now. One shine of tea. Oh, I should have used the new piece of transfer tape. Oh, is it coming off? Come on. You can do it. There we go. Beautiful. And then the same thing, we're just gonna coat it in resin and we're done. I cooked the end of this and I cooked the last side. All right. And I'm not sure where the final video of this went attaching the keychain hardware, but after you have cured for about another three minutes, depending on your lamp, just attach your keychain hardware and you're done. That's it. It is super easy. Thanks for watching.